Coming up on UPC, we'll have an interview with Mr. Moore. March Madness hits its pinnacle tonight at the Lone Star State. I'll have more in sports. And the Marine Biology Club field trip is running out of spots. All this and so much more is coming up on UPC, and it starts right now. <laughs> everybody and thank you for joining us on the Monday, March 30th edition of the UPC Morning Show. I'm Amy Butler. And I'm Claudio Mansuratolo. The second students for animal meeting will be held in room 8H on April 1st from 210 to 245. The Marine Biology Club, there are only 10 spots left for the April 24th trip to SeaWorld. The cost is $24, $24. bring your money to F5 and bus signups will be after spring break. SGA is sponsoring a spring canned food drive running now through April 3rd. You can bring your cans to your first period classes. They will be picked up Friday, April 3rd. This is to make up for the poor response we had in the fall. If every single student and faculty member brought in just one can, we would have twice as many as last time. Please support those less fortunate than we are. Lip Sync is coming. The event show will be held on Monday, April 27th. Applications are available in J6, that's Mrs. Moulton's room, and are due before spring break, Friday, April the 3rd. Winners will receive cash prizes this year. All Slideshow Committee members, there will be a meeting March 31st in D5. Please be there. And here with Paulina, there's an interview with Mr. Moore and the valedictorians. Thanks so much, Claudio. Hello, CHS. I'm here with Mr. Moore. Good morning. Good morning. Who's here to introduce two very important seniors. Well, first of all, I am here representing Mrs. Lambeth, who unfortunately is in a conference right at the moment and simply could not get out of it. But it is my pleasure to introduce to you kind of a unique circumstance. Normally, a school chooses a valedictorian and a salutatorian. However, this year, we have the pleasure of having two valedictorians. And over here to my left at the far left in alphabetic order, Miss Kimberly Blackburn and sitting right next to her, Mr. Scott Wilson. Hi guys, welcome Hi. to the show. Congratulations Thanks. on being co-valedictorians. Have you guys been um, like shooting for this since you were little? Is that what you've always wanted to do is like be valedictorian? And Well, you know, ever since kindergarten that was my goal and <laughs> I've been planning every day since then. <laughs> Great. Um, so how, do you, how does it feel to be both like valedictorians? Do you feel like it takes something away or is it added or what do you think? I think it's an honor to be sharing it with Scott. <laughs> We've both really worked hard for this and it definitely is an honor and exciting. And it adds three minutes to graduation. Okay. Thanks guys. <laughs> well, congratulations. And now back to Amy and Claudio. Thanks, Paulina. There will be an SGA meeting today after school. All members, please attend. It's that time of year for seniors. If anyone has any pictures that they would like to include in the senior slideshow for the senior breakfast, you can please bring them by D5. Please put your name on the back of them if you would like them returned to you. And coming up real soon, the TV production department will be selling video yearbooks outside the Media Center. This is the real thing. Those who signed up for a video yearbook earlier in the year will be able to buy one at the discounted price. Those who missed out on the sign-up will still be able to buy one for $15 and with the previous purchase of a regular yearbook for only $12. There is a meeting today after school for all Drama Club members and the cast of Little Shop of Horrors. It will be a brief please be in the auditorium. And seniors wishing assistance to sell or purchase existing Grat Night 98 tickets should see Mrs. Mr. Straub in room D5 between classes. Seniors who wish to change their Grat 9 guests must also see Mr. Straub. Failure to record transfer will result in that ticket being invalid. And here are baseball results is Alfredo with sports. <laughs> Thank you, Amy and Claudio. I'm Alfredo Muente with UPC Sports. 
Congratulations to Jeff Petty and Darren Jackson for being selected to the St. Pete Times Soccer All-Star County First Team and Aguim Kaba and Ben Abel as honorable mention selections. Jeff was also chosen MVP for the Pinellas team in the Senior Challenge All-Star Soccer Game. The Countryside Baseball team defeated Largo Friday night 5-4. Mike Barkley hit two hits and scored the winning run on Trevor Hall's long sacrifice fly ball. Danny Pendergast had a home run while Steve Palenkas and Mike Boychuk limited the Packers to four hits. Baseball players meet at 12.30 today for batting practice before this afternoon's game at Northeast. And before we leave you now, we've got an uh, interview with some of the officers from the Cougarettes, and they're going to tell us a little bit about what they uh, won this weekend in competition. What I'm holding now is our super sweepstakes for the team. That means we got straight superiors on all three routines, which is incredibly awesome. Way to go, congrats. This is awesome. Um, I've got, this is the first year that we took lieutenant routines. It was the three of us and our co-captain, Stacy Meyer and Kara Fornash. Um, we took three routines, and we scored straight superiors on those, so we got a sweepstakes award for that. And then also for our officer routines, we rated best in class in our division, and that's first place overall, and that's really good. I mean, that's the first time we've done that, too. And I just want to say congratulations to all the Cougarettes. We love you guys, and you did awesome. You're number one. Yeah. Well, a wonderful season, and congratulations to you all. And finally, uh, tonight at the uh, Alamo Dome in San Antonio, it'll be the Kentucky Wildcats and the Utah Utes going for the national champion in this year's men's college basketball tournament. And that is all today in sports. Back now to Amy and Claudio. Thank you so much, Alfredo. And for those of you that are interested in the fashion show, there will be tryouts today and tomorrow after school. Meet here in K-1. And a very, very, very happy birthday to Bart from all your boys, Jeff, Mike, me, Chad, and everybody else. Also, all far, fall guard members need to meet in the guard room today at 5 p.m. for the Festival of States. And a very happy 17th birthday to Tiffany Brooks. Love Diane, Teresa, Mike, Brian, Alicia, Ross, and all of the UPC crew. And that's all the announcements we have for you today. We hope you have a great day. Pat says happy birthday too, Bart. See you guys later. <laughs>